Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to make the tutorial of this mini album. I call the Shabby Chic mini album with a shaker window. Right here in this hole that you see up here, it will go a window because it has both sides, okay, of a clear acetate and uh, it'll have a shaker and um, it will show very nicely on this album and i'm going to show you briefly what you will learn today i'm going to um show you everything step by step okay and this mini album is six by eight and a half and the spine is three and a half inches okay so it's a big mini album and right here as you can see it will go the window shaker and this is what you will learn, okay? It's not done. Um, you had to come back on Tuesday, the 29th, to uh, see the finished product with embellishments, with closures, with ribbon, with everything. So it's going to open like this, okay? And then this page will open like this and like this, okay? So you can open this way. And then in the next page, okay, it will open like this and like this, see? Same here. And then in the next page, it's going to have pockets. And as you can see, it opens on both sides. Then in the next page, it has mats. And this one is something different. It opens and it has pages right here, see? same in this side okay it has two pages here then for this page you have big pockets and in the next one it opens like this and this mini album it's not done i'm going to add a little more so come back on tuesday and now let's start with the tutorial i'm going to use these papers from my stash and I bought it at craftycity.com and I'm going to put the link in the description box. As you can see, it has all these pastel colors. And right here I have, um, this one comes with the six double-sided papers. Okay, and they are like this. See? And I love the pale colors. And I'm going to use one more this one right here is the basic paper pad and this one are all these colors they are double-sided paper okay as you can see it's plain you can use it uh, any side see and repeats okay and my album is going to measure six by eight and a half and the spine is going to be three and a half by eight and a half okay that's for the spine and these two are for the cover okay this is six by eight and a half and i'm going to use a shaker frame that looks like a window from renea bouquet and these are all the pieces of the window shaker that I'm going to put. And the size is four inches, but um, I cut at four and one sixteen. So a little bit bigger, okay? And so this one can fit inside of the hole, see? And at the back, it's going to be another um, of these, so you can have a shaker, okay? and this is for the cover and for the base of the pages i'm using file folders because i want the pages to be very sturdy okay and you can use cardstock if you want but um okay i decided to use this one so i don't have to glue in the center okay i'm going to use the same binding system i like that kind of binding um is uh, stack the deck okay and i cut okay this one because it's a uh, six by eight and a half okay this is the file folder can you see the lines right here i'm gonna show you right here okay this is the center and these are the lines right so when you see the lines you are going to 
measure and cut at six okay and from the line that it's folded already okay you are going to cut um the first one it's going to be six plus half of an inch so it's going to be at six and a half okay so this one starting up here in the folding part is going to be at six and a half so i have this one that is six and six and a half see and then you just uh, make a line and fold at half of an inch and you have the center okay see then for the next one it's going to be at six okay again in the folding part of the file folder you count at six and the next one is going to be one inch and a half plus six so that will be seven and a half okay so I cut at seven and a half and I score at one and a half right here, okay? Beginning up here in the folding part. And I have a page that looks like this. And this one will go inside, okay? This one will go inside right here. And the, and the last one, it's going to be the same at six up to the folding part and then it's going to be at two and a half plus six so that will be eight and a half okay so i score at two and a half and then six okay right here you have six and you will have okay all these like this okay when you glue it you will have all the pages like this okay and that will go into the spine okay if it's in there and i'm leaving half of an inch in between the pages because we're going to put a lot of embellishments okay and then these are going to be the cover of the uh, pages because i want to build flaps okay and i'm going to use cardstock and i'm i'm using 12 pages because i have six pages right here so one for each side and i don't want to cut a lot these papers so this one is eight and a half by 11 okay and because my album is eight and a half i don't need to cut anything i just score at six okay and then when i fold okay at six i have this part right here and you can use it as a flap and i'm going to show you a few more um ideas on how you can work with this flap okay and we can have a beautiful album and we don't need to um and we don't need to waste um too much paper or keep cutting and gluing okay so for example right here this one can fit in here on the top of this um, file folder and see you have a page that opens like this okay so we're going to start now okay with the cover and now i'm going to um make the cover using cardstock okay to put it together i glue three pages of cardstock and I glue the chipboard on top. And remember that you have to leave one quarter of an inch between the spine and the sides of the cover. And um, then I'm cutting the window. So it can be the hole in there, okay, for the shaker. And I'm going to glue all the sides, okay. And first I fold the paper of all of the sides okay and then I'm going to cut the corners remember to leave like about one eighth of an inch in the corner okay don't cut all the way and that will cover the thickness of the chipboard and now when you are done you are going to um, make two slits right there okay on 
um, the sides of the spine. And that's for folding the papers and it's not too tight in there, okay? Then I apply the double-sided tape and I just uh, even push into the indent side so I can have some glue when I put the paper on top, see? And it will look um, very nice when you do that, okay? So you just fold the paper and then you have to push in the inside, okay? So it's not bulky in there, okay? And this is how it's going to look when you do that, okay? You have to do the same to all of the sides, okay? And now my cover is ready for a paper, okay, um, to cover the inside. And I'm applying at eight and a half by 11. And I just um, make the indents, okay, very um, neat. So it can fold without any problem, okay. And it's not bulky in there. That's why you have to press um, before you glue it, okay, and now I'm going to use another eight and a half by eleven, and I fold it at six, and I'm going to just put on top, and then I have a flap, okay, at the end, and that's my cover, and now I need to cut the window, so the window can have a hole, okay, for the shaker, and this is what you're going to do. You just cut all around okay and i have a mat a cutting mat on the table so be careful with that okay um just put something when you cut and yeah now um it's open and my cover is done and here is the base of my pages and I use the file folders and I already um, show you how to fold and now I glue them together and this is how it looks. Okay, as you can see right here, see, it has um, a half of an inch in between of each page and now I'm going to fold the cardstock. This is an eight and a half by 11 and I fold it at six and I have the flaps for my uh, pages. For the first page, I glue the paper like this, and it was exactly for the window, see? It will show the embellishment in the center. Now for this page, I have the foldings, and I'm going to glue this way, okay? So I can have the flap on this side, okay? This one right here too, but I cut one extra uh, paper that it's eight and a half by eleven and I score half of an inch on that side and I'm going to glue this one right here okay so I can have a flap that opens like this and opens like this see so you have a lot of room for pictures and this one is going to be the same okay and this is how i glue the pages the first one goes like this and then the other two open like this okay and i added this flap so it can open more and same here then these ones open like this and this one i glue like this because i'm going to make pockets here and this one opens like this and this one the opposite okay so we do that and this one the last one is same as the cover okay it opens like that okay this one that is in the center and we are going to use the paper okay the i'm going to use this six by six and because this paper um this side up here measures five i'm going to score half of an inch on three sides and i'm going to glue it up here for pockets and i fold it 
the three um, sides and now I'm going to put it up here and I have a pocket here and pocket here okay now I'm going to glue the pattern paper on the inside of the cover and I cut the paper at eight and one quarter by seven and a half and I'm gluing the side okay of the indentation as well okay so it's not too bulky in there when you fold your page and now i'm going to cut the paper of the window okay because it has to have an opening for the shaker now we're going to finish the cover and we're going to add paper on that side and i cut this paper at eight and one quarter by 12 and i fold it at four and three quarters for the flap and then the rest goes to the center and this is how it looks and don't worry if you have to put paper in the center of the spine because you will um cover with the pages okay so it's not necessary to put more paper in there now as you can see i'm going to decorate the pages and i started with this one and i it looks beautiful for the window Now I'm adding the pattern paper on the cover and as you can see I chose two different colors and I'm going to glue that all the way up to the beginning of the window then this one on top and I'm going to cut the paper right after I finish gluing. You gently fold that paper okay on the spine and then just finish cutting the window. Now, all the papers are cut and I just need to glue them like I did this one. And for the pattern paper, I cut one quarter of an inch less of the size, okay? So you measure what is the size of your page. For example, right here is eight and a half by six. So this one is going to be eight and one quarter by five and three quarters. Okay, so this one will fit perfectly right here. Okay, and then the small ones as well. Okay, I cut at uh, four inches. Okay, each one four inches. And right here, this is five. So it's going to be a four and three quarters. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to glue all the pages that are simple. And if there is something different, I'm going to go back. And this is done. And as you can see, I put half of an inch right here of paper that matches to cover the center, okay? And this one opens like this. And I have these squares right here, like mats. And on the sides, I put one, um, full page okay and then right here when you open you have uh, two mats and this one you can put a big picture here okay so it opens like this and like this see same as this one okay and then for the next page i'm going to um i cover this part and then uh, I was going to um, just leave it simple, but then I thought that if I add this one, I can close it up here. And this is a six by six. And this is a six by six. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to show you, okay, the page is like this. Remember that this one was 11. Okay, cut the paper at um, 10 and three quarters right here. And I left right here one eighth of an inch and one eighth of an inch here. So um, my paper is going to look like this. See, one eighth of an inch here. So it's one quarter of an inch less of this size. And then you just glue it like this, then fold it. Okay. And before you glue, you are going to, this is the six by six and I folded one inch. Okay because I just need five and then I cut another piece of paper to make the mat up here and I'm going to glue behind the pink paper and I'm going to match right here the same um, height and then it's going to look like this see it's 
going to look like this. I'm going to finish that and then for the next page again this is eight and a half by eleven and I cut one quarter of an inch less okay and then um I just fold it and it's going to be like that and then here are the pockets that we made and these are scraps of papers that will go here okay and then right here here is the half of an inch that will go here in the center and same here okay i'm going to glue that and for this one that opens like this okay i cut mats and i'm going to put it up here okay these mats and then when you open okay i made something different and i want to um show you okay i cut the paper one quarter of an inch less of the size okay but i just glue this part up here okay you just glue this part up here and because my paper is double sided i have this extra and i cut another one okay i cut another one that is this is five by eight and a half so this one is ten by eight and a half but it's a smaller one quarter of an inch less okay and then i just going to glue on the side and then it will look like okay one page two pages and then with this one okay and it will look like this see more pages in this side and this is how it's going to look with all of the pages that are glue already as you can see everything is covered and yeah um i even put a uh, half of an inch in between the pages so you don't see the file folder now for this page we are going to glue just this side up here okay and then I cut this uh, piece of paper because we are going to make a pocket here, okay? So the pocket will go like this. Um, you are going to mark uh, three inches, okay? From this corner to the side and to the bottom, okay? For example, right here, three inches is right here. And then three inches right here okay and once you have those two marks you're going to put your ruler okay and you're going to fold this paper right here okay and we are going to put a gusset right here so you have a big pocket for lots of mats okay i have the the gusset is going to be five inches by one and you just fold it in half and we are going to glue this one underneath. Okay, so we have plenty of room for lots of mats, okay? And we are going to cut a piece of paper that is about four by four, and we are going to glue right here, okay, in the back. So when we fold uh, right here, the pocket, it's going to look like this, see? And I'm going to glue that and I'll show you how it looks. And this is how it's going to look, see? It's a big pocket right here for many mats. Maybe you can put three mats in each side. And you can put a picture here, okay? And we can decorate up here. So that's for this page. And for the next one, I just put paper on this side. And right here, so it can match on this side, okay? And now I'm going to glue this one, okay? to the cover and as i said um this one is that's okay if this this part up here it doesn't have paper because this is the size exactly the size so it's going to cover okay all the way see and on tuesday i'm going to show you all of the embellishments that i'm going to use with links and everything and i'm going to show you how this mini album will look with all the um laces and the window shaker and everything okay 
I hope you like this project and if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'm going to come back on Tuesday with my finished product. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for you like your comments and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day everyone. Bye bye.